Crossclip is a very cool tool by Streamlabs. And this tool converts my clips into YouTube, Instagram, TikTok videos. I saw it just, man, less than a week ago. I tried it out, the free version, it was awesome. And you know, I'm someone that makes a lot of clips. If you have, if you're following me and you get notifications, you probably notice Morphine just posted 47 new clips from his VOD. So yeah, I make a lot of clips and this tool converts my clips into YouTube, Instagram, TikTok videos. So, and the way I would, I used to do it is I would use video editor inside of which app and made a clip, make a highlight, whatever. And then I would download it and then I would open up DaVinci Resolve and I would take the 16 by nine, turn it by nine by 16 in a, in, a, in a new project. I would, you know, do whatever I needed to, to center it, add the graphics, all this stuff, render it, and then upload the render to YouTube or upload the render to TikTok, whatever. And the whole process would probably, even for like a 20 second video clip, would probably take me a good half hour or so, honestly. And that's just the editing the video part of it. With cross clip, I can do that whole process in once I have, once that clip exists, I can do the whole process in under five minutes, easy, under five minutes. Today, I posted a little video on Twitter, like a one minute video of me giving a little bit of demo and from shooting the video and then downloading it and then uploading that to cross clip, downloading the converted video from cross clip and then uploading it again back to TikTok. That whole process was like 10 minutes. It, it, no lie, it was 10 minutes, it was, it was sick. So what I wanna do is kind of just go over that tonight because it is a cool ass tool, man. All right, so let's let's go in, let's go into this. So this is the tool, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Twitch and I'm gonna go into my dashboard just to find a clip. There's a clip that I made and I click copy. So now I'm gonna go into cross clip, which is just crossclip.com and I'm going to paste that URL into the box and I'm gonna say get clip and it pulls it up that quick, right? It pulls it up that quick. So what you have here is you have three sections. You have your input, your output, and your output settings. So what you wanna focus on first, obviously, it's laid out left to right, is your input. And you have two boxes. You have a camera and your content. And you can see on the right, the preferred way that they wanna lay that out. So, and there's two ways that I go about doing this depending on what the clip is that I'm doing. So for this one, because I do want to show the cam and the content, I'm going to trim this down so it, it fits the way I'd like it to. So I want to get rid of the black space up top. It's already, they already center it, so that's nice. And then for my webcam, I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to shrink it until it fits just the way I want it to. To make sure that everything is lined up, I typically like to go over to editor options under output settings and uncheck show output borders so you can see that it, it lines up nicely because like if I have this over just a little bit, so it looks kind of funny, but if I had the borders on, I may not necessarily notice that. So recommendation is to turn output borders off as you're kind of messing around with it. So it looks exactly the way you want. If you want a little bit more separation between your face cam and the content, you can, depending on how your thing is laid out, you know, for me, I have a little bit of black above here, so I could drag it up. And so now I have a little bit of space in there. But it, depending on how your webcam and content are lined up on your scene, you may not be able to do that. So it might be right up next to each other. I, it depends on your situation. So now that looks pretty much like the way I want. The next thing I need to do is kind of drag this slider of to exactly what I want um, included. So I'm good with this. I think the output looks good. And now you want to go to the settings. So you have a few options. You have, you can upload to TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. TikTok is the default one. If you wanted to go to YouTube, it would be something like this. Now, one thing that I found interesting is the, if YouTube is landscape, I don't know exactly why that it doesn't allow the content box to be dragged out wide. I found that a little bit interesting, but you know, if you're using Instagram or anything like that, you can actually put these borders back on and you can drag it around however you want. 
but I'm gonna go back to TikTok and we shut these just to make sure it looks right. It still looks good. All right, so I'm comfortable with that. A blurred background, you know, I guess that would be if you are using something that's just your, just your, your cam is the whole content. Maybe it can blur the background for you. Uh, watermark and outro, those are, those are for cross clip. Now I have an option to turn those off because I paid the five bucks to, to get a, a one month of the pro version. If you don't buy the pro version, if you're using the free version, the watermark and the outro are going to be on by default. And the, you won't see them in this part. You won't see them until you actually go to compile it. And where it is, is the watermark says cross clip and it, it's going to be somewhere up around this part of the screen, usually on your face cam and the outro. What they do there is I, I can't remember if it's they cut like two seconds off of here or if they add two seconds on the end of it and it shows a logo for for cross clips. But whatever it is, you know, if you have the pro version, you can just go ahead and shut it off. And it's really cool. It's five bucks for a month or 50 bucks for a year. Another thing I want to show is under layers. If you if like if, if this was all just my cam and I'll show you an example in a second, I could actually remove camera so that I wouldn't I would only have the content. And then if I wanted to, then I could drag the content to fill out the full the full uh, uh, size here. And then again, input borders, output borders, you know, those are obviously very helpful to leave on. So there you go. So that's pretty much all you need to do for setup. And I'm going to click compile and now I'm going to have options. So if you're using the free version, your only option is 30 frames per second and a 720p. Because I have the pro version, I can go to 60 frames per second and 1080p. If my input source was not at that level, then there would be no point in doing it. I could just leave it at 720p 30. But since I know that I usually stream at 1080p 60, I'm going to bump that up. I'm going to hit start compilation. You can close this and it will send you an email in literally a couple minutes that tells you it's done or you can close this and you can just sort of wait on the compiling screen. I'll show you in a second. And then you'll click when the yellow uh, download button is enabled. You can click on that to download it. So they have this thing easy mode too. I want to show you that before. Now this is if you want if you have an app that you can use on your phone. Now right now it's only for Apple and I use Android so I can't demonstrate the app to you, but I'm hoping they add Android at some point that I can do this whole thing on my phone, which would be really, really nice. One cool thing for you Apple users is if you're using their app, I think you can up when you compile this, you can have it automatically upload to TikTok or some of the other services as well, which saves you a step. All right, I'm going to close this. And so now you're going to see the, the finish up, but it, it compiled while we're, I was talking. So I can either hit share. This doesn't do what you think it will. It really just copies the URL, you know, so you can use it somewhere else. You can paste it somewhere else. But what I'm going to do is, you know, I would normally hit download and then I would take that download and then I could upload that to TikTok or whatever. Another thing you notice here at the bottom, it says open an editor. If I were to do that right now, I would go back and it would show the video, everything I did and I could change it. Like I could go now changes to Instagram and I could move these things around however I wanted to and I could compile again and start compilation and now it's going to save it in a different format so and I imagine as this tool is maturing as it gets more use as they're making money they will probably start to add more features I could definitely see them adding something like a, a, a toggle switch that says you know generate a something for all platforms at once to just probably make you make sure that you have things lined up the way you want but so you can see this is what it looks like for an Instagram layout and so I want to show you what I mean by a full layout so here's a full layout one I did and so what I did on this one if you click open an editor is I deleted the face cam okay I deleted the face cam and then stretched out the content to the full entire layout so that's that's all you have to do now if I wanted to change that I could go add layer right and adding layer it, it doesn't say face cam anymore but that's essentially what it means and let's say my cam was over here I could then go into the editor options I mean shrink this down and line this up exactly how I want it to look 
and drag this up and so now I have something completely different. And the reason they're able to do this is because when you have it compiled, it still retains all of this source data for you to do whatever you want with it at the end. And if I compile, it's going to create a new clip, not going to over, not going to overwrite the one that I already made. And like I said, there is a free version of it that allows you to do everything that I just did with two exceptions. One is that it has the watermark. And the second is that you are limited to 720p 30, which is still a really good quality, but it is a, a limited number. Actually, you can see it here. Actually, I, I this is one I did two I did yesterday or the two days ago with water with um before I got the pro version. So you can see where it says cross clip up here, right? So that is that is the watermark. And at the end of this, you'll see in a couple seconds, you will see the outro. So there's the outro, right? Real quick, it's like a second long. Considering how good this service is and the fact that all that they put into it and all that you can do to save it, absolutely, man, it is It is definitely worth, uh, worth it. Like I said, five bucks a month, 50 bucks a year. I just did the five bucks to see if I would like it. Clearly I do. So I'm going to stick with, uh, stick with using this tool. Uh, so. So yeah, there you go. It's, it seems pretty, pretty freaking cool. So um, I'm definitely someone that makes clips out of every single VOD that I do. Um, I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I upload stuff to videos to Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. So, and it's all for my VODs usually. Um, so the option to get this done quickly is, is a no brainer. Now, now this is coming from someone that I use DaVinci Resolve. I use like a real professional video editing software. Um, and this, the quality of this is honestly for what, for what this is producing is no different than what I would have spit out of DaVinci Resolve. No, I can't do any color grading or I can't edit the audio. If there's audio issues, I can't do that in this, but as long as the VOD is clean, the clip is clean, then it's, it's, it's fucking butter. It, there's, there's, there's no problems with it at all. Again, it's cross clip, cross clip.com. So there's a, someone from Streamlabs that I talk to frequently. And every time there's a new, uh, feature or app they have coming out, he's like, Oh, go check this out. He didn't even tell me about this one. I just saw an ad for it. Like at the top of Streamlabs when I logged in the other day, I'm like, yeah, right, I'll check it out. Yeah. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Everybody go check it out. In fact, I made so many clips. I'm one, at some point I feel like they're going to be like, all right, we're going to, we're going to cut you off. We need to stop making so many freaking clips. Your five bucks is not covering the cost of our storage. 